and a lot of eyes will be on the Virginia Beach oceanfront this holiday weekend to see how officials and police deal with the crowds. No one wants to see a repeat of last month's problems. Remember this when the ground a crowd got out of control on the ground during a popular college event. Police responded to three shootings, a number of robberies, assaults, all in one night. Then your size Jason Marks is live now. Jason, how are things down there tonight? Uh, well, the, well, Nicole, it's expected to be uh, a busy night. That's what business owners down here are, are hoping for, at least. Now, this is not what business owners want to see. I mean, take a look at the beach. I'm here by myself. They want to see this beach packed all weekend because they'll equal the dollars that are being spent over on Atlantic. Now, let's show you what things look like uh, one block over. And as you'll see here, uh, people are milling around and people are slowly coming out to town. Now, what really hurt them was the fact that it really was a washout down here. It rained all day long. And when you have that, uh, people are not going to come down here. I talked with some business owners who said if it rains a little bit throughout the weekend, that's actually good because if people can't get onto the beach, then where do they go? They go onto Atlantic and they spend money. So a little bit of rain good, a lot of rain bad. Uh, but you know what? There really is an optimism. There's an optimism every Memorial Day that the summer is going to be good. We spoke with uh, one business owner a short time ago who says uh, he's expecting for a lot of business this summer. There's a, a high anticipation level. Because especially with people who have worked down here at the ocean front beforehand, we all know it's significantly busier. It's and no one wants to sit at work and do nothing all day. So we get to we get to have more business, have more fun, and just have a good time. Yeah, I mean it's definitely a fun when you're a business owner and you're and you're making money. I mean that's always uh, the key here. Obviously, they're expecting a bi a big summer down here. The, the economy has gotten better throughout the years, and so uh, they're hoping to rebound quite nicely down here. Now, uh, we, I can tell you that the lifeguards will be out uh, full staff starting tomorrow. They'll have one pretty much on every single block. So if you're gonna come down here you're not going to want to get in the water it's too cold but the lifeguards will be here now as far as that security that you talked about uh, Virginia Beach police tell me that they will be out in full force tonight they do not want a repeat of what happened a couple weeks ago and they're not expecting to see the crowds like they did a couple weeks ago but they're going to go with their holiday staffing which means extra patrol officers they're going to have officers working overtime you're going to see them out on bikes walking around you're going to see them in, in police cruisers obviously and then ob obviously you're going to see them on horseback. So they want to be visible. They want to make sure people know that they're uh, out and about. And like I said, they're not expecting to see anywhere near the crowds that you saw a couple weeks ago down here. But everybody is anticipating a big summer. Of course, when you have an empty beach, that's that's not good. But hopefully the beach will fill up guys over the next couple days. That's the latest here at the oceanfront. Now back to you.